In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Insta360 X3 and how I've been using this to capture high quality behind the scenes footage of me and my business. Along with reviewing this camera, we're also gonna talk about why you should be capturing and sharing behind the scenes of you working in your business and how that could possibly land you some more work as well. Along with a quick review and favorite things that you can do with the Insta360 X3. So let's get into the video right now. Sure. So first, let's briefly talk about what I mean by capturing behind the scenes of you and your business and why that's important at all. So basically what I mean by that is showcasing you doing the work instead of just showcasing the final deliverables. So whether it's you walking up to a property, getting it ready, and also doing your listing photos, seeing your camera on the tripod, or doing gimbal shots, interacting with clients, getting your gear ready, just showcasing how the deliverables that you and your business make are actually produced. And a little bit later in the video, we'll get into why that actually is important to share. And now for some quick specs about the Insta360 X3. It shoots up to 5.7K 360 video, up to 30 frames per second. It has has a wide angle 4K single lens mode, a half inch 48 megapixel sensor, and flow state stabilization with 360 horizon lock. You can also do fun things like third person views with the invisible selfie stick, which is actually pretty cool. I made another review on the Insta360 one inch where I actually was going around on my one wheel and doing different types of things, and this can do just the same. And it has an 1800 milliamp battery, so you're covered for whatever you're shooting. And then I also really love this massive touchscreen because you can really frame up whatever you're looking at, get your settings right, and then also hit this button right here where you can switch to the inner or the outer lens at the touch of a button. And especially for any of you sports enthusiasts, this is super rugged so it can really take a beating and it's waterproof. So now let's talk about why the Insta360 X3 is perfect for capturing BTS of you and your business. First off, it's smaller than a phone. Here's the Insta360 X3 next to my iPhone 13 Pro. Because it is such a small footprint, it is really lightweight. So you can mount it on something like this, which I currently have my phone mounted to, but you'll see that this isn't as functional as the Insta360 X3. You can mount it on the Insta360 selfie stick, which is like a mini monopod. Really great because you can just put this from, you know, whatever you're shooting. This extends out. And then you can just screw this on and you're ready to go. So whether you hold it like you do for the invisible selfie stick mode, or you kind of set it up in the corner to capture some BTS like I am right now, and it's gonna work out great. Another reason that's really cool to capture behind the scenes on the Insta360 X3 is the unique perspectives you get compared to your phone or a traditional camera because you're gonna get that wide angle 360 view perspective, not just a fixed focal length or a fixed perspective that you would have to move the camera each time to get a different view of that. So I found myself whenever I was shooting behind the scenes of other jobs, I can just, you know, place it wherever I wanted, whether it was, you know, somewhere over here and then do the job, focus on what I'm doing, not really have to worry about it because I can just change the shot later. Or then whenever I move perspectives again, can put it over here. It's just really out of the way and really small. Not like you're setting up a whole nother big camera rig or your phone. So this, in my opinion, is even better because they probably won't even notice. Like half the time when I was capturing behind the scenes, they didn't even really see this. I would just set it up, put it in the corner or wherever I was filming and then just do what I was doing normally and it would be fine. And back to me saying how you can just set this up and then frame it up later, that's kind of the biggest perk. That's kind of the biggest reason on using a 360 camera. In editing, whether in the Insta360 app or in the studio, you can just reframe your shot, change the field of view, any of that. So you can just deal with it later, not have to worry about it while you're shooting your actual job and get distracted. So now let's talk about why capturing behind the scenes. Like, why is that important? I just want to do my job, showcase the deliverables on our website and Instagram or wherever it is. And that's been working fine. I'm just going to keep doing that. First off, it shows the other half of your business, the other side that most people don't see. Like I said, whenever we go share our work online, they just see the final product, the best work. They don't see what goes into making that product or what it's like to work with you, how professional you are, what you do to get those shots, whether that leads to aspiring other creators, other media businesses, or other potential clients, which then see that, get interested, and then reach out to you. It's an easy way to showcase the type of work that you do, the clients you work with, your professionalism, how you dress, how serious you take your work, all of that. Because honestly, nowadays, it doesn't matter how great your work is. I feel like clients definitely wanna know who they're working with, what it's like to work with them, and of course, the final deliverables. 
kind of like having an about you or about us on your company's website or on your freelancer, photographer, videographer website. You want to have an about you page on there just so they know who this is or what this business is about, not just this is what we do and that's it. And if you don't have that on your website, you definitely should. And then here's another thing I noticed on why it's important to capture stuff like this. We normally, as photographers, videographers doing these types of gigs, don't really see the perspective of what it's like, you know, the client's perspective, like what we're doing, what it looks like to them, or how we act in front of the clients, or how we present ourselves. And so I found myself kind of like whenever I was filming these behind the scenes videos, especially for the exclusive Discord community, I didn't realize, you know, sometimes I maybe sounded like that, or I would just act like this, or some of my mannerisms in front of the clients like that. Not that they were bad, but they were just interesting to see and maybe kind of like an opportunity for self growth and reflection to be like, oh, that's how I look, or that's what I'm doing for that. Maybe I can do it differently or be more personable for that part or this, or whatever the case is, just having that unique perspective makes you reflect on how you're doing your work because we normally don't see, you know, that side of us. We don't see that. We see our first person point of view and that's it. So it's like having just a little drone or someone else filming you the whole time to just kind of see how you're doing. And I found that really interesting. So yeah, I've been using the X3 to film all the behind the scenes exclusive videos for my community. If you aren't familiar with that and you're getting value out of this video, you should really think about joining it. I started an exclusive community for real estate photographers and videographers that wanna just take their business to the next level, learn more, anywhere from just picking up a camera to knowing nothing all the way to people that have their own business. But all of the recent videos have been filmed with the X3 because it's been so easy to, like I said, just put it somewhere do my job and then make the video later once I reformat it in editing and it's good to go. So probably the only drawback for me personally, and this might not be a deal breaker for others, might just be the low light performance. I feel like 360 cameras definitely have this struggle just all around. If you're in a really, really dark environment, it's kind of hard to capture those really detailed shadows. But in my opinion, because you're getting that big field of view, you're not gonna be zoned in on little shadow details. And so probably for whatever you're gonna use this for, it's gonna work great. Just in my opinion, depending on your scene, like for example, a really dark real estate interior, that's where you might see this kind of struggle. But other than that, I've been really liking the X3. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's a wrap on this video. I know you're probably thinking like, wow, that's all you use it for, but it's like, again, me capturing BTS, doing the exclusive videos that I do for my community. Those are really important and this has stepped in to just kind of be that camera for that, which makes my life a lot easier. And that's how I've been getting the most value out of it. But someone like you might find it more valuable for doing tours or even using this as your main camera or also starting to capture BTS, like I mentioned, for your business. So if you're interested in checking out the Insta360 X3, head to the link in my description and leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be part of the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Sure.